Hello guys, um, let me explain to you this uh, this question which seems very uh, easy from a distance but is obviously giving us a lot of problems. So we have, um, we have a statement here that says uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 horses are worth 30. Uh, we are not told what 30 is, whether it's 30 shillings or 30 euros or 30 dollars or 30 kilos. But let's just take it as an arbitrary number that represents three horses. That means, in simple terms, that uh, one horse is then a value 30 divided by 3, which is 10. Um, the second level we are given is that um, one horse plus a pair of horse shoes plus another pair of horse shoes equals 18. Again, we are not told what is 18. Is it kilos? Is it euros? Is it dollars? It is, is it shillings? Or whatever it is, yeah? So, what we see straight on is um, it is clear since we've deducted uh, deductive uh, reasoning we've deducted that the uh, value of one horse is 10 it looks at the uh, value of the one pair plus another pair of horseshoes is 8 that is 18 minus 10 uh, which is 8 therefore we can conclude that uh, since we have two equal pairs of horseshoes uh, and, and the sum of uh, their worth is 8, then one pair is equal to uh, uh, 4. Okay, let's for now leave it at that. And then in the third instance, we are given that one pair of horse shoes less one pair of boots equals 2. Um, just pay attention to that. We are given a pair of brown boots. So this is, uh, the whole story revolves around horse riding. So when you want to ride a horse, you, you clad it, you clothe, you clothe it in, in, in horse shoes. You wear um, the right boots. And then um, obviously you need the right horse. And then you can, you can ride. So in that instance where we have a pair of horse shoes less a pair of boots, the value is 2, we can uh, again using deductive reasoning say, well, we already know what a pair of horse shoes is, it's, it's 4, uh, rather the pair of um, uh, horse, uh, horse shoes, is, is the value is 4, therefore by saying a pair of horse shoes less a pair of boots is equal to 2, the implication is that the boots are worth two. Now pay attention to the question. You are not given a pair of uh, boots anymore. You are given a single boot. And that means you have to go back and say since two, two boots or a pair of boots were equals, was, was uh, worth two or equal to two, then a single boot is equal to one. So you have one boot that's one and then you have one horse that is ten and then you have one horse shoe you do not have a pair of horse shoes anymore you have a single um, horse shoe and since we have concluded above that a pair of horse shoes equals a value of four then it is um, reasonable to imagine that one horse shoe um, if the two of them are equal is uh, has a value of two so this reduces the whole story to a very simple equation, equation, which is 1 plus 10 multiplied by 2. And if you go back to board mass, uh, if you have bracket, you, you order or you off, and, and then division, we don't have those three. We have multiplied, we have addition. And that means the first rule there is we multiply any numbers on the left and right of the multiplication sign. That means we have a plus 10 and it's very important to pay attention to the uh, positive nature of the number 10 because if I had 
added there a minus 10 then the value would be very different so here we have a plus 10 multiplied by 2 you get a value of 20 because that's the product of positive 10 multiplied by positive 2 and then the next operation after m from board mass board mass so ma is addition so we have the product it's 20 we add to what we have on the left which is 1 and therefore the answer is 21 i i have noticed that some very common errors that people make here is one to assume that since you've been given um, a pair of horseshoes the question is definitely going to be a pair of horseshoes that's wrong you really have to pay attention because this question was not only testing your mathematics on board mass it was also testing your ability to pay attention to detail and the detail here is you had a pair of horseshoes they were reduced to one each you had a pair of boots they were reduced to one each so that is what I wanted to explain in this and I noticed a lot of us struggled with that because again um, we either got the numbers right but we got the order of operations wrong because we have a mixed operation here or we didn't get the numbers right because we assumed there were going to be two boots and, and then two horseshoes and therefore that's how people are getting 42 uh, instead of 21. Those who are getting 13 are assuming that you have two addition signs instead of a multiplication sign and an addition sign. So again it's about paying attention, looking very closely and you will notice that we have a plus and a multiply sign uh, given in that. Uh, uh, case. Enjoy your weekend guys and good try at the brain teaser. So it's really great catching you guys right there. My conclusion is that 95% of you failed at first attempt and after second or third attempt about 90 of you, 90 percent of you got it right. The rest you benefit from this uh, tutorial. Enjoy your weekend.